Well, I'd like to demonstrate how to use the Tiga file converter to convert AutoCAD drawings of any particular version of AutoCAD into a DXF file, which can easily be read into GCAD+. So I've made a folder on my server called Curves, and I've got a subfolder called DWG in. That's where I put all of the files that I want to convert. I've got three in there at the moment and my output folder is a subfolder under curves called DXF out and I've set my output version ASCII DXF 2007. What this is going to do is take what will often be a very late version of AutoCAD and bring it down to a much simpler drawing and putting it into DXF strips out some of the smarts that Autodesk hide away in their DWG files. So this pro should provide us in this case with three different DXF files that we can simply insert into a GCAD Plus drawing and start using it as a base. So let's click start and the process runs. And what I'll now do is swing to the folder, to the output folder and just show you that there are indeed some converted files there. Well here's my Windows Explorer in DWG in. Here are the DWG drawings and if we go to the output folder there are the corresponding DXF files and they're the ones that we're going to use in GCAD Plus. Well let's switch to GCAD Plus and we'll go file and open. We need to change our files of type to DXF and we'll pick the first of those converted files and hopefully the file will open in GCAD Plus. There we are. And if I zoom in a little, it's a really big and complex drawing and I imagine that if you want to use any part of this as a base drawing, you're going to take some part, certainly not, not the whole of it. If I zoom in on this view here and click, that's in fact a block. What I want to do is just dive into that individual block and just make sure that text has been converted correctly. And it's the contents 20.62. And I'm interested in this one here, which is 193 with a degree uh, and minutes symbol. And those have been entered in using keyboard characters for that. But that's a story for another day. So can you see if I close the block editor now, we've taken a very big file in AutoCAD DWG format, put it into DXF. Now we can copy any part of this design, perhaps using the clipboard might be the quickest way to go. Let me just zoom out a little. Let's say for the sake of argument, we want to work on this zone here. I could fairly easily copy that to the clipboard and paste it into a brand new drawing. And hopefully GK Plus won't object. Insertion point zero zero. It's a quick and dirty way of doing things and there's zoom extents. So we have a, a drawing here that's much smaller and much easier to work with as a base plan. It looks as though that one's been done, doesn't it? There are symbols here, there and everywhere. But lots of layers and you then be able to turn off a number of these layers. And you see there's no, there's no blueprint as far as converting DWG to GCAD Plus is concerned. But try and keep things as simple as possible.